Chapter 731, Small Game Warcraft, and the World's Nightmare. At this moment, all the players in the new shop and the old shops were watching the new cinematics trailer. By now, even some players in the new shop had begun using the new communication jades produced by UI Daoist Alliance, so they could watch the trailer when they were not in the shop. A group of elves gathered in the lounge area of the new shop, each with a communication jade in hand. The sun had just risen, and the radiant lights shin through the morning clouds. I have been prisoned for ten thousand years. A deep voice sounded as thunder rumbled in the sky. I was then expelled from my homeland. Now, you dare to trespass my territory, you assy king death. Wow, who's this? The assassins were also watching the trailer. Although they hadn't seen the entity who just spoke, they felt like this being was lofty and grand after hearing it. In the next scene, blue skinned Drannus opened scrolls. The beautiful palace decorated with crystals glittered as if holy lights were flashing inside. This scene signaled that in the new version of the game, the alliance would have a brand new race. Sunlight dyed the distant clouds golden. Under the red maple trees, the beautiful blood elves caressed the mana wimes that seemed to be a little vague. Yeah, blood elf. Sala pointed at the elf who was wearing a bright red priest's robe in the virtual image and said, Finally, I can choose Blood Elf now, right? In the battleground, Orc warriors swung their swords fiercely and fell as messy arrows shot them. Behind them, Blood Elf priests lifted their magic wands, and then holy light fell. Elves almost screamed in elation, Arise, my warriors. Aya, the horde players can choose priest too? Above the desolate land. The dark green clouds in the gloomy sky looked as if they would fall at any moment. A demon sat on the top of a mountain. Then, it slowly stood up, revealing its powerful iron-like body. Who is this? It looks powerful Elena exclaimed while she watched this. Other assassins were also enthralled by this trailer. This is Illidan. Sala looked disdainful. How come you don't know it? Ah? What one egg? How come I don't know this name? The assassins looked puzzled. After all. They had also read the official novel and played the game. How come only you know this name? Note, in Chinese, Illidan's pronunciation sounds like one egg. In her communication jade, Sala dug out a screenshot of a small game named Warcraft. This is a small game ink zone. Other than Illidan, there are also Sylvanas and Arthurs in the game. Huh? We have such a game. Looking at the exquisitely made little figures which were totally different from those in World of Warcraft which was a virtual reality remake, they asked, why isn't it included in World of Warcraft? At this moment, Illidan leapt up into the clouds and spread out the demon wings. With the silver moonlight shining on the pitch black demonic presence, he looked down proudly and said, you are seeking death. My goodness, this person looks powerful. Tell me how to play Warcraft that you just mentioned. Can we increase cultivation strength in this game too? I want to play it too. Elena exclaimed. Um it doesn't increase your cultivation strength, Sala said in embarrassment. She was embarrassed to introduce others to a game that wouldn't increase their cultivation strength. I don't care. I want to play it even if it doesn't increase my cultivation strength. Elena waved her hand. Does it tell us the things that this Illidan did in the past? It does. This Warcraft is very simple. Surprised that Elena still wanted to play the game without the benefits of increased cultivation strength, Sala immediately explained the small game named Warcraft to her. Different from World of Warcraft, Warcraft is played with the mouse. Many of the stories are about events in World of Warcraft, but you can play this loading map. We now only have this one map called Loading Map of Midnight. Pig Butcher this map is made by the Shopona. How come the Shopona loves this kind of names? Elena heard the name Loading Map and found it to be quite strange. Where did you find this kind of stuff? New Snow told me, Sala said. There are many interesting small games in Kzone. Though a cartoon and anime too. I'm Mount is super fun. Do you want to watch it? Note. I'm Mount is a popular Chinese Warcraft cartoon. Oh she's one of your friends from the East Continent, right? Elena asked with sudden understanding. At this moment, the vast sky above the Orc Kingdom was terrifyingly gloomy. Black ravens covered the sky and let out shrill screams as if they were announcing the arrival of death. On the horizon, darkness oozed out from the crack in the sky. The darkness spread out like ocean waves. 
swallowing the ground while it swarmed in this direction. The ground tilted as if a huge monster was trying to tear open the ground and crawl out from the depths. The ground was collapsing and sinking, and the defense magic arrays seemed to be useless. At first, people only saw dark clouds covering the land. However, the clouds moved at a great speed, and only when they came before the city wall could people see that a horrifying army was inside the dark clouds. The army was so huge that one couldn't see the end of it in one glance. There were at least over 100,000 soldiers. Among them were humans who didn't belong to the East Continent or the West Continent, and there were also non-humans among them. These soldiers had different facial features, but they all had one similarity. They all wore the same style of black armor and had cold and bloodthirsty eyes. They, they are the Shadow Legion. Shadow Legion. As the ground shattered, the city walls collapsed while booming noises resonated in the sky. Countless ordinary orc soldiers who couldn't fly fell from the city walls while screaming. The prosperous orc city was instantly turned into a hell of death. In this huge city, countless orcs who couldn't fly were swallowed by cracks in the ground. When the huge earthquake stopped, the whole city was in shambles. As far as eyes could see, there was not a single spot left intact. According to legends, wherever this legion went, it would turn the place into scorched land of death. Once people found those plains that were invaded by the Shadow Legion, they only saw blazing sun and white bones buried in yellow sand, which were all the things left in those worlds. Some people joined the legion due to fear which was why there were all kinds of races among them, even including saint-level human masters. They were the nightmares of the world. Chapter 732, The Players Who Probably Won't Go Online Again In the desolate city, few people were left alive in the ruins. Woo what dad? Mom. A cute small orc with a bull head stood in the middle of the ruins and bawled, looking like a small lonely flower that was growing in the ruins. This flower was so weak that its tender stem would be broken by a gust of wind. A hurricane appeared in the sky and knocked this small orc down, and his cries got louder. A huge shadow slowly landed from the sky. It was a huge demon-like dragon that was over ten meters long and it had two horns on its head. Crack. A huge figure which looked like an iron tower got off from the dragon. Cackle this figure let out a series of gloomy and cold laughs while it lifted a huge sword. Then, the sword slashed down heavily. Boom. The sword hacked open the ground and left a huge crack, but no blood dripped down. Huh? This figure looked up and saw a tall lion man dragging the kid to the side. Anyone else alive? Trask. A few soldiers walked over and gathered around him. Some of Vster's orc companions climbed out of the shambles. Before them, the 100,000 soldiers of the Shadow Legion looked like an ocean. Looking at the knight who was riding the huge shadow dragon, Stan knew what force he was facing. He was facing the legendary existences that had only existed in the ancient prophecies and poems. All the orcs looked horrified. However, despite their disbelief, they must force themselves to accept the fact before them. These existences had returned from the legends. Shadow Demon Dragon, Death Lord, Drus, beneath the rusty and decayed armor, the pair of eyes that appeared as deep as an abyss, seemed to look through the void and into the ancient past. The cold gaze seemed to contain no human emotions. What's going on today? In your city shop, People were missing from not only independent peoples in guild but many other guilds as well. Yixio had been sending messages with her communication jade. Is anyone in the second group online today? The main tank is missing. Several DPS players are not online either. What's happening? Yixio glanced at the time. Didn't we agree that we will raid at noon? At this moment, Yixi or you saw a message from a player with the ID professional healer Paladin Elven. I'm not familiar with this guy. What does he want? Yixio remembered that they had added each other as friends when they played together with Royal Clan Guild, but they had never talked to each other. She immediately clicked on the message and read it. In the new shop, Commander Elven of the Golden Griffin Knight Legion looked anxious. I heard that your main tank isn't online either. Are your people missing too? Yixio frowned. We have people missing from three groups, Commander Elven replied with sweat on his head. We are all here waiting for them. What's the situation? How come they are all missing? We agreed on the time. Take everyone who can move out of here. Mr. Ord. 
the gaze before them was still cold as if it was telling these stupid orcs that none of them could leave. Mr. Reinser, are you afraid of death? One orc asked beside him, I am, but I have a daughter, and she is of the same age as this boy. She's not in this city, but I hope that a warrior will bravely stand before her when she's in a dangerous position as this one. Perhaps no one could block such a legion, and they would soon sweep across the whole world. But Rasta hoped that some people could hold them off, even if it was only for a little while. Me too. I have a son, the orc beside him said in a muffled voice. Looking at the flood-like legion, the few orcs who survived the initial disaster charged forward instead of escaping. Shield wall. With a ground-shaking roar, these orcs' shields seemed to form a solid barrier standing before the black flood. These orcs even saw a large number of enemies in black being sent flying. Someone once asked them, Do you want to be a coward for a lifetime or a hero for only a few seconds? Now, these orcs gave the best answer to the question. They still remembered when they stood before their mentors, raised their arms, and made the oath with confusion yet great solemnity. Our shield never falls, and our will never vanquishes. Remember the lost fighters forever while we chug down the spring of victory. Heaven is on the left, and the warriors turn to the right. For one moment, the black flood was interrupted by them. A horrifying rumbling noises sounded from their shields. The huge force seemed to be able to send huge dragons flying. Roar, roar. With their hoarse roars, the last bit of blood was shed. Meanwhile in the shop, some elves and assassins were watching the new anime called I'm Mount. Upbeat and deep singing sounded with the passionate tune, My name is Mount, and I have an iron-like body. I challenge, I dodge, I defend you with my body. Don't be afraid. I'm still standing. Everyone says that tanks are powerful and hold the highest degree honor in the guilds. I'm sorry, friends. Perhaps I can never be your main tank again in the future. Roar. For the Orc Kingdom. For the people who we need to defend. For the Horde. And Stulene won his shield while his voice got fainter and fainter as if he had fallen asleep. Blood flowed down the shield and onto the ground. Perhaps these Orcs were just tired and needed to rest. The great army swallowed one orc city after another like a tsunami. A huge catastrophe that no one had imagined swept across the whole orc kingdom and then spread toward the neighboring human kingdoms. Wherever the black flood went, no living being could stand a chance. These humans orcs always think that they are heroes. Beside the demon dragon, a tall and thin figure said, in fact, they can't even take one strike from us. Their acts are insignificant and no one will remember them after they die. This was one of the two figures that had first appeared in the Orc Kingdom. A tiny bit of its presence was as great as that of the horrifying saint level. Stupid. Only people who believe in our God can live for eternity. Our God once said that the war among gods is a war of faith. Except for the gods who made it clear that they are staying away from the war, everyone else is pawn. He <laughs> he. They are a bunch of pathetic ants. From this day on, some players of World and Warcraft never got online again. Chapter 733, The Oath of Knights How come the warriors in our guild are still offline today? Sitting before her computer, Helen controlled her character and looked bored. We agreed to raid. They must be delayed by something, another member of the Golden Griffin Knight Legion said. Helen frowned since she felt like these warriors were straightforward people who would never go back on their words. Commander. I can't get through to them either. Commander Elven seemed to be thinking about something. Miss Helen, do you want to play this Warcraft? The shop owner made a new map named Wind and Cloud. They say it's super fun. Sally called on the other side of the shop, we just need one more player. Coming, coming. Helen exited the game and said to others, since we don't have enough people and are waiting, I'll go and play a round of Warcraft. Her commander Relv nodded, looking not as casual as usual as if he had something on his mind. Huh? Why do you look so absent-minded? Salad had begun the game with other elves for a while now. Sitting at the computer desk in her zone, Helen clicked on her mouse abstractedly. I don't know Helen moved the mouse aimlessly. I feel a bit uneasy. Do you think that something happened to them? Salah also felt uneasy, but she tried to soothe Helen, don't worry. Didn't you say that those warriors in your group are mercenaries in the Orc Kingdom's mercenary union? Perhaps they received an urgent mission. Right. 
Helen nodded with force. The business in the real world is more important. Since they came early each day, they liked to sit at computers close to the counter and thus were close to the entrance. Suddenly, they seemed to have felt some disturbance behind them. They turned their heads and saw that people on the prosperous street outside the shop were swarming toward the direction of the White Pigeon Square. What's happening? Helen suddenly froze. She had never seen people look so anxious and panicky before. Although Mr. Fang's shop was not in the core area where the high-level aristocrats lived, it was in one of the most prosperous zones in Kanglin City. Even a small aristocrat would be disciplined from youth to be composed and well-mannered, and these people would never scramble to run to a place with crowds in public. What the heck is happening? Helen grew even more anxious. Should we follow them and check it out? Sala suggested. Before she could finish, some mercenaries had run out of the shop toward the crowds. Hurry, let's go and see what's happening. These people ran out of the shop, followed by the whole Golden Griffin Knight Legion, mages of Royal Magic Union, and other players. On the White Pigeon Square, many humans in Kanglin City gathered here. There were also some dwarves and elves. We will be playing an urgent announcement. On the spiritual spell visual projection, there was a female mage who was wearing a white robe with a badge of magic communication union pinned on her chest. According to the latest news from the front line that the military intelligence department gathered, the Orc Kingdom and neighboring human nations are conquered. The enemies are still unknown for the time being. In the spiritual spell visual projection, the long-range visual projection spell turned the visual to the sky above a city in the Orc Kingdom and showed that the previously prosperous city had been turned into a pitch-black scorched land. The cracked land and the ruins on it were a frightening sight. Our nation has entered the emergency war preparation status. All residents please get ready for the war that might come at any moment. The war might come at any moment. This is Mountain Rock City. Someone in the crowd exclaimed, one guy in our guild told us about it. The voice got fainter and fainter as if this person suddenly realized something. Watching the scene on the spiritual spell visual projection, the Knights of the Golden Griffin Knight Legion and many other players here suddenly felt their minds turning blank. How can it be? Loud discussions erupted in the crowds. May luck be with the people who are alive, and may peace be with the dead. A noble lady murmured. However, they were outsiders and wouldn't understand what this meant to some people here today. Standing on the square inches of days, Helen felt like her whole body had turned numb while her mind was filled with the images of their warriors in her guild. She remembered that they even generously invited all the members of the guild to drink wheat wine after finishing their first raid. She had never met some of them in the real world, but after many nights of yelling together and countless wipeouts, these previous strangers had become comrades who had each other's back on battlegrounds. They promised that when they got offline last time, didn't you guys promise that we will raid together? Helen's tears gushed out without control. Carrying a two-handed huge sword on his back, Commander Elven, a sedate middle-aged man, had never looked so bitter before. His face paled a little as if he couldn't bear the departure of his friends. Together, they had conquered terrifying enemies one after another, but he had never imagined that these trusted teammates would fall in such a way. Commander, seeing the helpless glances from the other knight in the Legion and the lost gazes from other players, for some reason, he heard the oath resonating in his head. From now on, I'll embrace holy light with my heart protect the weak with my sword and shield, and vanquish evil with holy light. Humility, honesty, compassion, valor, justice, sacrifice, honor, and spirituality are the eight virtues that I'll never forget. We'll not fall as long as people need our protection. Perhaps it was only an oath that these paladin players had casually made in the virtual world, and they hadn't taken it seriously. But now, Elven suddenly understood that since he had chosen this class and took those words to heart, it meant that he agreed with the code in his mind. Slowly, Elven drew out the two-handed big sword from his back and pierced this heavy sword that was close to the height of a person into the stone ground before him, making the ground seem like it was as soft as tofu. I, Commander Elven of Golden Griffin Knight Legion. I swear, if you're still alive, I swear with the honor of Paladin that I will defend you to the last moment. If Elven paused as if he was bracing himself for the worst possibility, regardless who your enemies are, 
Your enemies are my enemies. I'll battle to the last moment in your place. I'm born for honor and die for glory. Like my sword, I'd rather break than bend. At this moment, all the paladins yelled hoarsely with red eyes, I'm born for honor and die for glory. Like my sword, I'd rather break than bend. Chapter 734 New System Task Holy Light Miracle In the crowds, a group of elves stood together. As the race with the longest lifespan and most ancient history, the elves seemed to know something that others didn't. First Elder do you know something about it? Looking at the knights who were roaring hoarsely with red eyes, Sala almost cried with them. Although most of their good friends were from Jua City, a few members of their guilds seemed to be missing. Thinking of the disaster and the missing players, the players' hearts sank. I heard of rumors about them when I was young the silver-bearded and silver-haired first elder of the elf clan said in a deep voice, no one knows where they come from and what their purpose is. In every plane and every world that they went to, they destroyed all the living creatures. In the knowledge of people in the Nora continent, this almost endlessly vast world was surrounded by many planes or worlds, including the smaller ones such as the Elf Royal Palace in Sylvan Moon Forest and the larger planes such as the continent of immortal relics. They battled in plane after plane. Their leader is said to be an existence closest to a god. Only god's miracles can hold them off. We've been searching for the traces that they left in this world with the hope that we can stop them from bringing catastrophe to this world. The silver-haired and silver-bearded elf elder who was extremely old side, still, the inevitable came. The name Shadow Legion might mean nothing to ordinary mercenaries and aristocrats, but it was a horrifying name for those who had access to the core secrets of the world. Its most recent pillage caused the demise of the Evil Empire hundreds of years ago. That empire was once a place full of sunshine, but now it was engulfed in darkness and became the headquarters of the Underground Council. Of course, with the expansion of the Brotherhood, many members of the Underground Council had joined the Brotherhood. With red eyes, Elena said to the knights in a loud voice, Please count us in. Meanwhile, in the Royal Magic Union in the Morning Light Empire, Grand Mage Adolf wasn't watching the spiritual spell visual projection with others on the square. However, with his background, he had much more information about the current situation than all other people. Before him was an ancient looking magic crystal platform, and a pure and clear magic crystal ball was inlaid on it. In the flowing magic lights, a layer of white mist appeared in the transparent crystal ball. Then, the mist revealed a scene that looked half real and half fantasy. Countless black ravens soared in the pitch black sky as if they were declaring death to everything they saw. Then, a huge dragon spread its wings which seemed to be able to block the whole sky. Suddenly, Adolf shook violently and then spewed out a mouthful of blood. The gaze in the sky was turning toward the direction of the area in the crystal ball where Adolf was looking at. A hill-like figure wearing decayed armor was revealed in the endless dark clouds in the sky. It lifted its huge hand, and everything on the ground including the rocks, soil, city walls, and houses was sucked up by a horrifying invisible force. Countless debris, houses, trees, and living creatures were lifted into the air by an unrivaled force. Then. The whole city was shattered. At this moment, in the distant Judgment Godly Palace, all kinds of delicacies were placed on a long desk that was more than ten meters long in the magnificent hall. A middle-aged man dressed in a red priest's robe picked up some food with his chopsticks and said, Try this. It's the meat of a level 8 sea beast, a delicacy that you can't have in any other place. Sitting across from him were Master Orth and Master Lywood the most popular supermasters in the mystical realms. Master Or put a piece of sea beast meat into his mouth and savored it appreciatively. The agent shop from the East Continent now has a bad reputation, right? Some people are still defending it, but it's not important now, Peeble said with a smile. Now, we're presented with a rare opportunity. After our guidance in the past year, people are casting more and more doubts on their holy light. This time, if we make good use of the incident with the Shadow Legion, they will become public enemies. Ha 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 ha. Mr. Peeble, this is an excellent idea. Master Lywood said with a laugh, I'll arrange people to direct the public opinions. Then, it seemed like he contacted someone. Dickers was still browsing the magic forum, her pretty face darken all the time. So many haters. 
Do you guys make a living by trashing Blizzard? This forum was full of comments trashing the Blizzard Workshop. If anyone defended the Blizzard Workshop and other related workshops, they would be tagged as traitors. Are you still bragging about Blizzard? The Orc Kingdom is the most braggers of Blizzard. Where is your holy light? Where are your resurrection spells? You all died of bragging? At this moment, Dickers saw a comment that frustrated her. Ah! With red eyes. Dickers was so enraged that she cried as she replied immediately, can't you show some respect to the dead people? At this moment, probably since he had played the time for too hard and too long, Mr. Fang had fallen asleep at his computer desk, AF King. Then, the system suddenly beeped with a prompt. Mr. Fang didn't move. Beep, beep. What? He continued sleeping. Beep, beep. Don't bother me. Buzz. A sharp whistle sounding like metal grating on glass came to his ears. Exclamation mark he instantly woke up. What are you doing, system? Mr. Fang was puzzled. In his opinion, the system had got lazy in the past year since it seldom talked to him except for releasing some sequels of games such as Assassin's Creed, but now two simple words appeared on the system interface, issuing task. Question mark nonplussed. Mr. Fang thought, why are you suddenly issuing a new task when everything is fine? Is it going to be another new game? But the Burning Crusade was just released, right? Mr. Fang glanced at the task. New task, Holy Light Miracle. Task description, lead the players in the new shop to a glorious victory with Holy Light. Task assistance items, the symbol of life 5, carry a rock 2. The rock can make the figures whom the host has a synchronization rate of over 10% in the cultivation room appear in the real world for 5 minutes. It's an item for one time use. Task reward. Carry a rock 1. The symbol of life. Fang Chi remembered this item well. This is the special item that the paladins and priests use to resurrect the dwarf when they learn the skill named redemption. Right? Why did you give me this item? And what is this carrier rock? At this moment, Mr. Fang saw a group of elves, knights and assassins running into the shop with tears in their eyes. What's the matter with you guys? Mr. Fang was baffled. What's wrong? You were all fine and cheerful only yesterday. Why do you all look so sad today? Chapter 735 the Gathering of Masters. You mean you watched the broadcast with the spiritual spell visual projection on White Pigeon Square and saw that the Orc Kingdom is in trouble? The players over there might be in trouble too? Fang Chi's hands shook, but he quickly covered it. He would still behave wildly once in a while in the shop, but he had generally acted more maturely than before. Hearing the fragmented and messy explanations from different people, Fang Chi finally understood the situation. He realized that this was a real disaster compared with previous incidents. Sir, I've decided. With red eyes, Salah said, we'll return to our elf forest today to gather our people, and then we'll go to the front line. I've decided too. Besides Salah, Assassin Harrison said, when we played Assassin's Creed, the master assassins taught us that the assassins greed is free will. Now that some people are even deprived of the right to live, how can we have freedom? I thought that the things in the virtual worlds were far away from our real world, but similar tragedies are taking place right before us, Elena said. I'll return to the ruins of a vil empire and gather more brothers. Nothing is true, everything is permitted. At this moment, Dwarf Eldis Orc also walked up with a group of dwarves. I never thought that another workshop's mystical realms would be better than those of the lava studio of our dwarf clan. But the mystical realm, World of Warcraft, attracted me from the very beginning. I like the hearty dwarves, the delicious alcohol, and every inch of the land in the game. Oh oh ho. Oh. I still remember that in one raid, a young paladin was so nervous that he cast divine intervention on my hunter pet. In the end, we were wiped out and had to watch that pet ball laugh. Others all laughed when they heard the old dwarf telling the old story. It must be noted that it was a precious spell used to protect the priest and other players who had resurrection spells. After laughing for a while, they felt even sadder. Do you know? That paladin resurrected us many times in the mystical realm. But now even the old dwarf was full of sorrow. He's a young knight from a neighboring nation of the Orc Kingdom. If something happened to him, I wish someone could resurrect him. Elf Eldis Orc glanced around the people standing in the shop and said, 
I'm thankful to World of Warcraft for bringing us together and giving me a chance to make so many friends. But I'm sorry to say that we must leave now. We have to leave not only for them but for our own homeland as well. Sir they say that our holy light is useless. Dickers had come to the shop to say goodbye to other players as well. After all, as a member of the Royal Magic Union, she wouldn't have time to continue playing World of Warcraft in this situation. However, when Dickers saw the atmosphere in the shop and remembered the sneering comments of the mages in the magic forum, she felt even more despondent. Mr. Fang had a small headache and patted his forehead. If the situation continues, my shop will lose all business. Some elves even ran over and hugged Mr. Fang, as friends of course. Farewell. I'm thankful to the mystical realms in the shop for giving us so many beautiful memories. With tears flowing down her cheeks. Sally waved at Mr. Fang. Although the resurrection spells can't be used. I'm still thankful. Huh? What are you talking about? Mr. Fang looked at them. Who said that you can't use the spells? Exclamation mark. All the people looked at Mr. Fang and were stunned. At this moment, the huge army swarmed down south from the Orc Kingdom like a black flood, wiping out several small and middle-sized nations on their way. The humans on the Nora continent were divided into two big groups. One group included the Radiant Light Godly Nation and its subordinate Faith Nation. The other group included the Morning Light Empire and other nation which didn't require their citizens to believe in a certain god. Of course, some nations of the second group would lean toward the group led by the Judgment Godly Palace. The high-level officials of each nation obviously acted more swiftly than Mr. Fang who had been oblivious of the situation. After all, Mr. Fang was only an internet cafe owner instead of a military officer. His main job was playing games. This continent had many masters come. They had reached the Supreme Level 9, and some of the elites had even become legendary saints. Under the crushing force of the huge flood transformed by the soldiers of Shadow Legion, the Selene Principality and Lianshan Principality sitting in the inland of the continent became the war zone between human nations and the Shadow Legion, masters of the continent gathered the, and so did the elites from different nations. Some of them had projected their images in Saint Heinz's Grand Hall. They included World Mage Hematon and Sword Saint Claus. Of course, some hadn't appeared in the Judgment Godly Palace. The nation protecting Sword Saint of the Morning Light Empire was one of them, and he came here accompanied by Grand Mage Adolf. I don't think we need to make it a big deal. In the conference room of Lianshan Principality, the old man dressed in a white sorcerer's robe without any badges on it was Hematon. The truth is that we defeated them several times in history, but we paid hefty prices. Another person said loudly, dressed in shiny golden armor, the person who spoke was the only saint level master in Lianshan Principality. Mr. Hematon, you must know that we had to ask the Radiant Light Godly Nation to create miracles each time when the Shadow Legion attacked us. But now he slammed his fist on the table and roared in a fury, they didn't respond, didn't respond at all. Don't they know the current situation? They only care about their faith. Mr. St. Hines is cultivating in seclusion, Sword St. Claus said coldly, Her Highness the Princess is busy and tied up. She sent me and a portion of the Godly Palace Legion here to help you. Mr. Claus, when did you begin to serve the Radiant Light Godly Nation? The man wearing golden armor sneered. I've sent messages to the Elf Clan and the Dwarf Clan, Adolf said. Everyone, I think it's time for us to put down the grudges between different races. Although these people were here to discuss and come up with an answer, it was clear that they were not as friendly to each other as they claimed. Chapter 736, Internet Cafe Rescue Mission If people looked to the north of Lianshan Principality, they would find the sky getting gloomier the further north it went. Shadows engulfed the land as if no sunlight could penetrate them. In the long history of expeditions, there were many veteran supermasters in the Shadow Legion. Among them were seven of the most ancient ultimate masters who were there when their Shadow Legion was created. One of them was Death Lord Dros who rode the Shadow Demon Dragon. As the most powerful existence among the seven, it had the horrifying power that was rumored to be closest to that of a god and its mount, the Shadow Demon Dragon, 
was said to have a strength of the same level, no one knew where it came from. Under the seven ultimate existences were supermasters from different planes who had chosen to join or follow them due to fear. It wasn't strange to see true saint level masters in the legion. Right now, the huge figure sitting on the shadow demon dragon gazed at the human city before it with cold eyes. Its gaze was indifferent as if it had seen too many such cities which had eventually been destroyed. 13. Are they almost all here? They seemed to be waiting for something, and they didn't move. The hoarse voice came from the tall and thin figure beneath the pitch black robe. Do they really think that they can hold us off? Under the sky of the distant Lianshan Principality several figures stood on the city wall which extended for dozens of kilometers while the whole city was in the hig just alert state. Outside the city walls, a faint magic wall of light began to light up. Then, black cannon muzzles stuck out through the holes in the wall. These are the destructive level magic energy cannons. The middle-aged knight in golden armor said in a furious voice, I heard that these ten huge cannons almost used up all the wealth of Lian Shan Principality. I wonder if it's true, Sword Saint Claus said, I guess you've moved all the magic energy cannons guarding the royal city to this place, right? At the border of Lian Shan Principality, the war would break out any minute. I still remember that in one past battle, one of the leaders of the Shadow Legion was almost killed by one such magic energy cannon, World Mage Hematon said, he seemed to be telling some ancient events in their glorious history. That is why I'm sure that they are prepared. The speaker was the nation protecting sword saint of the Morning Light Empire, he was a middle-aged man in his forties, and he was dressed in light armor which was convenient for him to move around. Our names will be forever recorded in the history book in this war. Sword Saint Claus put one hand on the city wall while he watched the large troops swarming toward the city. Meanwhile, in one of the magnificent palaces on the top of high mountains in radiant light godly nation, the inside of the palace was covered in countless big, bright, and clear crystals, and a woman lounged on the throne which was carved out of a giant crystal. Before her were the visuals from the battleground. What? While the masters argued with each other in Lian Shan Principality, exclamations erupted in Mr. Fang's Origins Internet Club. Can we use them? In fact, some people could now gradually use Blink, Portal, and some other skills, but no one had ever mastered resurrection spells. Many people had doubted if the resurrection spells of different classes really existed in the real world. The spells which could bring people back to life were forbidden skills for humans. They only heard of them in godly miracles and didn't know if those miracles were just rumors or the truth. Even though the players regarded the resurrection spells as virtual spells, World of Warcraft still attracted them with its unique charms. In fact, there were indeed resurrection spells in the storyline of World of Warcraft, but not every paladin or priest could cast them as miracle-like spells in the category of holy light spells. They had very high casting requirements. As for why most paladin and priest players could cast them, it was because in the game, the player's game characters were created by the system and could meet these strict requirements. In the whole history of World of Warcraft, there were only a few cases of miracles of resurrection. The most well known incidents happened in Scarlet Monastery. So you mean? Except for the super geniuses, how can one understand it without any assistant items? A game was just a game, and it must pay attention to the entertainment value while trying to make things look real. However, in the real world, things must operate strictly according to the laws of nature, which was why people couldn't do anything they wished. Then, if we can find the symbol of life used to cast redemption in the game, we can understand it faster? Helen exclaimed in astonishment. It depends on your talent if you can understand it or not. After all, the symbol of life acted only as guidance and assistance. Then the Knights of the Golden Griffin Knight Legion almost wept in joy. Then, how can we get the symbol of life? As a thank you gift for your patronage to my shop in the past year, I plan to give out five symbols of life, Mr. Fang said. Huh? How come it sounds like a promotion activity by a shop on the roadside? The people froze for a moment. If we can do it, I want to travel to the Orc Kingdom. Helen of the Golden Griffin Knight Legion suddenly said, If we race to the front line, do we still have the chance to bring them back to life? Helen grabbed Fang Chi's arm, 
looking anxious and uneasy as if she was afraid that Fang Chi would give her a negative answer. I'll go there. Helen suddenly yelled suddenly, I'll go to the Orc Kingdom. It seemed like she didn't care how dangerous that place was. For the elves who loved life, they wouldn't want to miss a chance to witness such a miracle in their lifetime. Besides, the elves never casually made friends. If they did make a friend, they would trust the friend all their life. There was no way that they were going to watch their friend enter a dangerous place without offering help. Meanwhile, the dwarves were simple and hearty people. Dwarf Elder Orc said, if so, we'll all go with you. At this moment, searching for survivors was probably the most important thing on their minds. At this moment, they suddenly realized that glory wasn't fame or status but the faith in their hearts. After all the sorrow and despair that they had experienced, Fang Chi gave them a glimpse of hope. Just like what Dwarf Elder Orc had said, they resurrected us countless times in the game, if we can resurrect them once in the real world, even if they could do it only once. First elder a few elves looked toward their first elder imploringly. Only this most senior elf had a steadiness gained through ages of experiences. But at this moment, the first elder didn't have the heart to refuse this request while looking at the sincerity in the eyes of the elves. Then, the rescue mission begins. Mr. Fang yelled. Chapter 737, The Secrets from the Ancient Times At the border of the Lianshan Principality, more than half of the masters from all over the Nora continent gathered. Yes, perhaps it was the first time in the history of the whole continent that they had gathered together so orderly. Of course, so many masters of the continent could gather here so fast since they had been prepared for this moment. Despite the suddenness of the attack, the influential figures on this continent were not completely caught off guard. There were altogether thirteen saint level masters, including Sword Saint Claus who was sent here by the Radiant Light Godly Nation, the nation protecting Sword Saint of the Morning Light Empire Wilson, and World Mage Hematon. Nation protecting Sword Saint Wilson was a grey-haired middle-aged man with dignity and aristocratic elegance. He was probably the saint level master living closest to Mr. Fang. Kanglan City was in his territory. He would occasionally read and handle official documents in the quiet study room in the castle in Kanglan City. As the most talented genius in the Morning Light Empire, he was married into the Hymir family, which was regarded as a shame on his knightly honor by many people. Therefore, few people knew that the Empire's sword saint had a daughter in the Golden Griffin Knight Legion, a second or even third tier Knight Legion. As the top masters on the whole continent, they seldom paid attention to information about workshops or mystical realms since those things were meaningless on this level. Standing on the right of these people was a middle-aged man dressed in a dark brown mage's robe, and his beard was short and unshaven. No one would think that this disheveled middle-aged mage was in fact the current leader of the World Magic Union. On his right stood a woman dressed in a robe with dark golden patterns. Under the hood of her cloak revealed fiery red lips and an exquisite chin. On her chest of her robe was an exquisite embroidered logo of the Alchemist Union. Of course, there were also people from places believing in other gods. For example, the Frost Nation believed in the god of ice of the bitter winter godly palace. The imposing man dressed in the thick fur coat and holding a scepter inlaid with a precious gem came from this place. Although they were not as famous as the judgment godly palace, there were still saint level masters in these places. Apart from them, there were other people with dignified middle aged faces or ancient weathered faces. They stood proudly on the city wall casting deep or proud gazes into the distance while their robes flapped in the wind. They had enough reasons to be proud since each of them was among the ultimate pride of the humans in this world. They formed the strongest line of defense. These masters had the best magic legions at their command, and they had the most elite knights charging for them while lifting swords high in the air. On the opposite side of them, in the distant sky, a figure moved closer and closer. Dressed in a black cloak, it looked extremely tall and thin. Inside the cloak, there seemed to be a deep vortex which could suck in people's souls. What did you find? The existence sitting on the shadow demon dragon finally spoke, and its voice sounded dry and hoarse as if rocks were grating on the ground. No. They seemed to be searching for something and didn't spare much attention to the ultimate masters among humans who were before them. Meanwhile, in the high broken cliff at Heavenly Abyss seen another world. Cold rain kept falling, 
and ocean waves surged up and crashed onto the reefs on the shore. In the chilly rain, a tall figure enveloped in a black robe slowly pulled up the hood which covered his face all year round. It revealed a face that seemed to be as dry as that of a zombie, but this man's face didn't rot. Instead, it had gradually turned black and began to fill up. Also, this man's forehead bulged a little as if demonic horns were growing out. Have you confirmed? He asked. Behind him was a slim and curvy figure. The hem of the long black silk dress fluttered in the gusts like the waves in the heavenly abyss sea. Her face was white as if there wasn't a drop of blood in it, but the demonic presence in her body felt more powerful and more contained. I've confirmed it. The person who possesses the pair of Dao pupils is now working in Half City. They have a reason to call the Tao pupils the divinity fragments what a pity. It's a pity that we don't need this pair of pupils now, the woman said mildly. They couldn't afford to have them anyway. I meant it is a pity that I have a fine demonic bloodline, but others call me Uncle Black and Sea Urchin Warrior. Their faces twitched. It's indeed a problem. Several figures hovered in the dark high sky. The figure standing on the left of the shadow demon dragon had a weird twisted face which showed that it was definitely not a human. The huge figure hovering on the right had strange hooves, and its robust body contained a force so terrifying that it couldn't be suppressed and spilled out uncontrollably. Black storms and lightning flashes could be seen around its body. Then, the figure sitting on the demon dragon lifted its huge sword and let out a soundless roar. The sky and the land, even the whole world, seemed to have been plunged into dark shadow. Fire. With a hoarse roar, several horrifying light beams tore open the sky and pulled open the curtain of the war. From the sky and the ground, a black flood crashed onto the protective magic shield around the fortress-like city. Meanwhile, the ultimate existence is on the continent, the royal palace of the elf clan, the sky fortress of the dwarf clan, the radiant light godly nation and the Judgment Godly Palace were all watching the war closely. Even some magic forums were flooded with comments about this war. After all, this wasn't a war that everyone could participate in. It was why the discussions on some magic forum were even more heated. For example, on the biggest magic forum named Eye of Mystical Realms, there were over 100,000 posts about this war. Don't worry, we have masters to defend us. Even if the sky falls, they will be the first to bear its weight. I've moved to the south. I'm sure that the war can't come this far. He he, I'm now in the radiant light. Godly nation as a manager of the crystal workshop. The workshop sent me to work in the capital of radiant light godly empire. Yesterday, I even visited Master Lywood. The mage dressed in a mage's robe with star patterns was active in the discussions while sitting in his alchemy room. Then, he posted a spiritual spell visual image showing magnificent buildings in the aristocratic zone. On the wide and clean street, a luxurious carriage drove forward swiftly. I even saw Her Highness the Princess on an outing. Chapter 738, The Sorrowful Cries of Orcs I'm envious of you, big boss. I admire you. On the magic parchment appeared flattery comments from mages all over the world. The customers of Blizzard used to brag about how powerful the mystical realm named World of Warcraft is and how they could learn holy light resurrection spells and go on so-called battlegrounds. But now, I'm afraid that none of them dare to go to the war, in the messy and dirty alchemy room, the mage dressed in the mage's robe with embroidered star patterns lounged on his chair and browsed the posts while dissing the players of World of Warcraft. Meanwhile, Master Orth also posted a comment in the Eye of Mystical Realms. Blizzard players, you have trained for so long in the mystical realm named World of Warcraft. I want to ask if you are qualified to join the war. My goodness, Master Orth posted a comment in person. It immediately received many replies from active users. I admire you, Master. We must call out the forum pet dickers to look at the personal post of Master Orth. What's a forum pet? It's a name for people who defend Blizzard Workshop brainlessly and bite people like a dog. Isn't forum pet a good name for them? Ha 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 ha. It's hilarious. A pet dog? Those origins fighters need to see this too. Another person commented. They also boast about their alchemy skills besides their sword techniques and magic spells. It sounds as if everything originates from their shop. It's the origin of everything in the world. If not, 
How can it be called Origins Internet Club? How come none of the Origins fighters are replying here? Ha ha ha. Below the post, many people posted, ha ha ha, to show their merriment. At this moment, Master Lywood and Master Orth, who were not combatants, were also watching the war while keeping an eye on the magic forum. They posted a sarcastic comment. They probably have gone to resurrect those orcs with their great resurrect spells and have no time to deal with us mortals. The laughter got even louder. The magic forums are very boisterous lately. Yes, your highness. Even though he was a trusted subordinate of Saint Dylan, people rarely had a chance to come to this palace. While lifting his eyes cautiously, he only dared to look at the position below the woman's lower leg while she sat on the crystal throne. Under the hem of her dress revealed a small portion of her exquisite shoe tips. A small workshop from the East Continent brags about the so-called resurrection spells, but I doubt that they have the ability to go on the battleground. People said in a hurry and took a quick glance at the images of the war on the spiritual spell visual projection. Of course, aside from this place, in the conference room of the nation's summit, where high-level officials from different nations were having discussions, people were also watching the war through the spiritual spell visual projection. The elf clan and dwarf clan were also invited to watch the war. Of course, it was also the best way to supervise the war. Meanwhile, Mr. Fang led his internet cafe rescue group to the Orc Kingdom. The place before them couldn't be described as shambles, it was a nightmare. The bodies of Orc warriors scattered on the ground randomly. Some of them still tightly held their weapons, not letting go even after dying. Some were pierced together by one spear or lance, left standing in the ruins like skewers. Helen who was born and lived in peaceful time and the elves who had lived in the tranquil forest shivered when they saw the horrifying scene. At this moment, they felt like they were staring at hell. It was so horrifying that it swallowed everyone here like endless darkness. It was a real hell. Perhaps they must do something. Otherwise, this hell would be their fate too. First search for any survivors in this area. Everyone, move. The first elder of the elf clan was obviously calmer, but his words still sounded regretful and heavy. We probably can't save all of them, so we must work quickly. How great was the power that could bring people back to life? It worked fine in the virtual world, but in the real world, it wasn't as easy as just pulling someone up from the ground in the game. It involved energy consumption, faith, spirit, and many other aspects. It was definitely not a spell that one could cast with ease. If the bodies were decomposed or had only bones left after wild beasts were fed on them, even resurrection spells couldn't bring them back. At least, the beginners could never achieve that with their resurrection spells. Meanwhile, on the other side of the Orc Kingdom, this was a small valley named Jade Valley. Countless Orc corpses were scattered on the ground outside the valley. They wore heavy armor with the crest of a roaring flame lion. These were armor worn by the roar of Kingdom Legion of the Orc Kingdom. Darkness spread out like a black blanket. On the ground outside the valley, an orc lifted his hand from the pile of corpses, trying to get up. But soon, he was engulfed by the spreading darkness before being eroded and turned into ashes. The Orc Kingdom was a prosperous and powerful nation, and their king was an ultimate peak sent level existence. But now, the wounded old orc roared while he was being dragged to retreat by his legion. Then, countless horrifying black shadows swarmed up like a flood. Blade storm. A not very tall figure charged up like a madman. Mr. Dirk. A wolf-headed general, who was dragging the old orc dressed in the royal robe to retreat, roared hoarsely. Although Mr. Dirk was only a rogue, he was the most popular person in the nation and he was well received by the aristocrats and civilians. He was like a national treasure in the Orc Kingdom. Among the Orcs who valued strength, Mr. Dirk was popular not only because of his frequent spiritual spell visual projection shows. With a furious roar, Mr. Dirk charged into the horrifying flood like a cannonball. Countless sharp blades spun around him, and these terrifying blades seemed to have turned him into a horrifying mincer. Even the elite soldiers of Shadow Legon who had experienced countless battles and killed many beings were knocked down in large groups like wheat before a farmer's sickles. Holding the huge double-handed sword, Mr. Dirk hacked around in the crowds like a tornado, 
cutting down soldiers one after another. All the soldiers on the battleground shivered at the sight of the crazy sword shadow. Evacuate with the king, swoosh, swoosh. Several sharp spears whistled across the darkness and torn open the void like flashes of lightning that represented death and they created strong winds. With a furious roar, Mr. Dirk hacked open two sharp spears with his sword that moved like a phantom. However, the third spear pierced his chest. At the same time, a dark and ominous presence appeared out of the blue and clutched Mr. Dirk's neck like a pitch black hand, lifting his whole body into the air. Mr. Dirk. A furious roar sounded as if this orc bit his teeth. Demon spirit, Sal. I saw many orcs like you. A deep voice sounded from an unknown place, like morons, they always tried to block us with their little strength and yelled words like for the horde. They were hilariously stupid. I hate such ignorant people the most. Don't they know what fear is? The hand smashed Mr. Dirk viciously against the hard face of mountain, knocking off large pieces of rocks while the sickening and distorted voice snarled. Why don't you run? Why don't you break down and scramble before running in panic just like everyone else? To deal with people like you, I always pierced them with a long spear like a skewer. You know, they usually don't die immediately, they groan for a long time. Roar! A shrill and long howl resonated throughout the entire Jade Valley. Chapter 739 arise. The sun slowly set on one side of the valley. The blood-red sunlight seemed to put a blood-colored thin carpet on the previously jade green valley. Roar! A ferocious roar rose. Mr. Dirk. With a furious roar, the old orc king broke away from the generals who tried to drag him away, and he shouted, Guys, we have no way out. We'll only survive a few more days by using the terrain advantage of the valley. The Orc King's face was concealed by his sylvan mask, but his ancient voice sounded strong and firm. Our Orc soldiers would rather shed blood on the ground than leave their comrades to hold off the enemies alone and escape on their own. I'd rather die in battle than live in shame. Our strength comes from blood and thunder, our strength will turn into fire of fury and death. We're fearless. The old Orc raised his huge sword high facing the ocean-like shadow legion which had sealed up all the exits of the valley, we're fearless. The rest of the orcs also raised their weapons, a bunch of morons. With a furious roar, Mr. Dirk somehow struggled out of the hand of shadow. Instead of retreating, all the orcs charged toward the shadow legion before them. In the green valley, the small group of orcs cut into the shadow like a sharp long knife. Combat technique, concentration of will. While holding his huge sword, Mr. Dirk let out a low roar and then thrusted it outward. An invisible surge of essence rushed out with the huge sword like a cannonball. Boom! The trees in the valley collapsed, and more than ten meters of plants on the ground were raised. The soldiers of Shadow Legion were sent flying for dozens of meters, piling up into a small hill. Soon, many soldiers swarmed up again in a dense troop. War stomp! The bull-headed man beside Mr. Dirk roared in fury and stomped forward with vicious force. The land cracked and sank before being pushed around. Then, a horrifying shockwave swept across everything with the violent quake of the ground. Countless soldiers fell, but more swarmed up. In the sky, the knights of the Shadow Legion riding ferocious huge black birds shot down like meteorites as their long spears stabbed with the vicious downward momentum. Dozens of knights pierced forward one by one like a black meteor shower. Bothersome? The old orc king raised his huge sword. With a shake of his hand, his huge sword which was thicker than a gate pillar transformed into hundreds of sword shadows. The sword was only about two meters long but its blade now looked like a group of mountains that were hundreds of meters high. Boom, boom, boom. The knights who were still charging in the sky were turned into a blood shower in the blink of an eye. But at this moment, a weak whistling sound came. Putchy, a pitch black long spear from an unknown place shot through the armor and pierced the old orc king's shoulder. The old orc stumbled a few steps and barely managed to remain standing by putting his weight on his sword. Cold sweat slid down his cheeks beneath the mask. No one could see his face beneath the mask but it was obvious that his face was twitching in pain. Can't fall, I can't fall. Seeing the elite warriors of the Orc Kingdom falling one by one around him, the old Orc King's heart was bleeding. You must all die here since you're a bunch of morons. 
The distorted voice said, Black mist condensed in the air and transformed into a pitch black cloak which revealed only half of the gloomy and distorted face beneath the hood. Then, I'll kill your people one by one until they beg for mercy in fear. Then, I'll see if you're still so brave. Then, his long spear shot across the sky with sharp ear piercing whistles, and more knights dashed down from the sky like many shooting stars. When the last bit of the sun disappeared, the sky turned even darker. In the future, these orcs would only have a vague memory of this day. That day, we were plunged into darkness and despair. We tried our best to fight but still failed. Our eyelids felt heavier and heavier, and our hands couldn't hold the swords anymore. Our bodies felt as heavy as lead. From light to darkness, from darkness we seemed to see the pale golden dawn light in the distant east. We seemed to hear someone calling out our names. I'm not willing to fall wouldn't. In the beautiful jade valley covered in vibrant green plants, there were only the last few orcs. Some of them stood over countless corpses. They were surrounded by enemies, looking as if they were deep in sleep. Some leaned on their huge swords and panted heavily as if they couldn't remain standing any longer. Kill them. The gloomy figure hovering in the air said. At this moment, a voice suddenly yelled. There are people here. Then, a figure landed. Then, with a white flash, several mages suddenly appeared. Everyone froze. Then, herds of soldiers of the Shadow Legion surrounded the invaders. Are you here to beg me to release the remaining orcs? Hovering in the air, the non-human existence gazed at the ordinary looking young man coldly. Mr. Fang's face darkened. Do you know who we are? I don't need to know who you are, Mr. Fang said. Huh? Hovering in the air, the figure, that emitted a presence more powerful than that of a demon, froze again. You guys affected the business of my shop. Ha 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 ha. Demon spirit Sal laughed wildly. I thought you would say that you're here to avenge them. What business in your shop? Are you nuts? It seems like you overestimated yourself. Even Helen, the earliest customer of the shop, hadn't seen Mr. Fang's face so dark and cold before. We don't hold grudge against each other, I don't need to avenge anyone. Aren't you angry that I killed them? Aren't you here to save them? The figure concealed in the black cloak stuck out a withered claw, and it asked in a cold voice as it pointed its claw at Fang Chi. Yes, can we really do it? On the other side, paladins and priest players such as Commander Elven, Helen, and Dickers walked up and stood before the orcs. Each of them had a symbol of life in their hands. What are you doing? Sal finally looked suspicious. Redemption! Exclamation mark either from incomprehension or stupefaction, that existence didn't attack. Instead, it watched as the symbols of light released the force of holy light. The warm light felt like the morning sun in the bitter cold winter. Arise, demon spirit Sal and all the soldiers of Shadow Legion saw beam after beam of golden light fell from the sky. Then, they saw the most unforgettable, astonishing, and incredible scene in their lives. The orcs who had stopped breathing long ago suddenly moved their eyelids, bathed in the golden lights, they looked as if they were woken up from sleep, with a shiver. They all slowly got up. Then, the fatal wounds in their bodies began to heal with visible speed. How can it be? Almost everyone let out horrified shouted. They had been killed. How can they come back to life? This went beyond their understanding. Even the caster of redemption such as Helen and Dickers widened their eyes and covered their mouths in astonishment. The elves, who had braced themselves for this scene, still froze at the scene. Then, Tears uncontrollably gushed out of these people's eyes as they were touched with heartfelt gratitude. At this moment, they acutely felt the greatness of life. Seeing the orcs' confused looks, pure smiles appeared on the faces of these paladins and priests. From now on, they embarked on a holy path without any regrets. In the green valley which had been dyed blood red by mountains of corpses, the Butchers of Shadow Legion had never seen such heartfelt smiles. Standing in the Orc Kingdom which had been turned into ruins of destruction, these people had tears in their eyes since they found people they could resurrect one after another. How can it be? How can it be? How could they come back to life? Kill kill them all. After a long while of silence, Madraws suddenly rose in the valley. Chapter 740 Holy Light is with us. The horn for counterattack. Seeing the scene before it, demon spirit Sal felt foggy in the brain. Having lived for many years, fought countless battles, 
and saw all kinds of opponents, it had never seen a scene like this before, it had never encountered such a weird situation, it knew that some existences had strong life energy and couldn't be killed with usual methods, but these people had been completely dead for a while, these bodies had run out of all their energy, and their vitality couldn't be any weaker, it was almost negative, however, demon spirits all saw these orcs standing up again with all their injuries healed. The most shocking was that the fiercest god of war of the orc kingdom also stood up. The elites of the kingdom guard team around the old king also stood up one after another. Although I don't know what happened the old orc king did some stretching. I'm grateful toward you. If we can return alive, you will be the most honored friends of our orc kingdom. The old orc bowed to the newcomers, and the others followed. Kill. Kill them for me. Demon spirit Sal finally snapped back to its senses. In and out of the valley, there were still about 10,000 elite soldiers of the Shadow Legion. At its order, the soldiers swept over from the sky and the ground. In the small valley, the knights, priests, elves, and about 10 orcs who had just been resurrected were instantly surrounded. What if you are resurrected? The horrifying demon spirit was obviously enraged. You're surrounded. Since we killed you once, we can kill you the second time, the third time the tenth time and the one hundredth time. I think we're in trouble again, my friends. The old orc looked grim as he watched the shadow legion swarming up to them in herds. No, old king. Mr. Dirk also bowed to their saviors. I think it's them who are in trouble. He pointed at the shadow legion that had surrounded them and said, You're right. The others laughed. I think you don't understand your situation. Mr. Fang looked at the ghost-like demon spirit in the sky and said, It's you who is surrounded. Wah. What? This demon spirit flew up into the high sky and saw the white-robed figures walking out of the mist one after another and standing on the tall cliff on the top of the mountain on the east of the valley. They were dressed in white assassin's robes and stood in one row, looking like magnificent eagles that were ready to soar up into the high sky. On the other side, the sounds of firearms resonated in the sky. Many dwarf troops appeared on the mountain on the west, ready to fight. On the top of the mountain in the south stood an ancient elf who was holding a wooden staff, and behind him stood countless elite elves. At the northern entrance of the valley, a blonde young man took the lead in the charge. He was Big Sword Crete, and he was followed by mercenaries from all kinds of mercenary groups in the mercenary union. Although the new shop's business progressed slowly, the continent was rich and had a large population. Right now, there were about 10,000 dwarves, elves, and humans at the valley. This number didn't include the large number of orcs who couldn't participate in the battle and some of the mages and elite knights on the other battleground. I'm sorry, but it's you who are surrounded. Commander Elvin walked over and said, Mr. Sal, the counterattack begins, brothers. This furious roar resonated like a horn that signified the counterattack. At this moment, dwarves, elves, assassins, mercenaries, knights, and sorcerers swarmed up from all directions. Paladins and orc warriors charged before others. The holy flames of consecration blazed on the ground beneath their feet, while the lights of judgment fell. Demon spirit Sal hated these paladins the most. These orcs already dead. But it was these paladins who had resurrected the dead orcs. You can resurrect, right? Under the cloak, its face turned chilly. Then, I'll kill you first. The darkness spread out behind demon spirit Sal like sky blocking wings. Then, everyone saw a black shadow tearing open the sky and shooting toward Commander Elvin of the Golden Griffin Knight Legon. Commander, in exclamations of alarm, Commander Elvin reacted quickly and positioned his shield before him. However, the force was too big for a knight of his cultivation strength to block. With a crisp sound, the huge shield that was as tall as one man was instantly pierced, and a horrifying bloody hole appeared in his chest. In fact, not only him, but the soldiers of the Shadow Legion, the trees, and the cliff behind him were all pierced. Commander Elvin stumbled two steps and sat down listlessly with his mouth full of blood. It seemed like this strike had drawn out all his strength. For a moment, Demon Spirit Sol seemed surprised that this little knight wasn't killed by his strike. Then, he attacked again. Before everyone else could react, the second strike came. With this speed and force, 
no one could come to Elven's rescue in such a short time on such a chaotic battleground. Demon spirits all smiled cunningly, resurrection spell? I'll see if you can resurrect yourself. The lightning-like black light beam shot across the sky and created thunderous howls looking as if it would swallow Elven whole. Commander. Commander Elven. How could the people that were only level 7 or level 8 rescue him from a saint level master? The masters who had enough strength to save Elven were too far away. It's done. Demon spirit Sol sneered smugly. But in the next moment, it suddenly heard a roar. Divine shield. A faint holy light engulfed Elven while the lightning-like shadow crashed onto the divine shield formed by holy light and shattered. Then, Demon spirit Sol saw that the knight sat on the ground and moved slowly like an old man due to his severe injuries. The knight condensed whitish gold light between his hands and guided it to his wound. Demonic energy piercer. Demon spirit Sal roared furiously and shot out another streak of black light. Holy light, holy light, holy light engulfed in the divine shield, the paladin concentrated on casting the spell named holy light paying no attention to the storm outside. His wound healed with visible speed. About ten seconds later, Elven's wound completely healed. Looking at Sal who had launched over 100 magic energy piercers in ten seconds and lowered the ground by several meters, Commander Elven said solemnly, The holy light is with me. Roar. Sal went crazy. When it roared wildly in undisguised fury, a huge sword hacked at it with sky-piercing force. Your opponent is me. The old orc king roared, boom, a huge fireball crashed down like a meteorite, sending this horrifying demon spirit flying, and me. The first elder of the elf clan flew up from behind, I think you should consider how to flee. The old orc grinned, you're finished, black-faced monster.